slower drivers soon will have to move over or face a ticket. 7 News' Sophia Radebaugh explains a new law to keep traffic moving on South Carolina highways. Some are nicknaming this law the slowpoke law. Starting in just several days, you could be penalized for driving too slowly in the left lane on the interstate. Adam Laws drives the interstate every day. He says there's nothing worse than being stuck behind a slow driver. Especially when they're going, you know, a good bit below the speed limit, and I feel like it slows up traffic and it can cause more accidents. Slow drivers in the left lane on the interstate. All around, it's, you know, it's, it's, it's a safety issue. Have become a problem in South Carolina. If you're traveling slower, you'll be traveling slower in the right lane with other cars going the same, same, uh, you know, same speed limit that you are. That's why starting August 15th, police will be able to issue a ticket for drivers moving too slowly in the left lane. Basically, what it says is you should not be traveling the farthest left lane unless you're overtaking or passing another vehicle. Those fines could be up to $25 if there's a traffic backup. I think a fine would be a good idea, especially if it's. They're going well below the speed limit and it's clear that they're causing congestion, traffic slowing down. The law doesn't specify how slow is too slow. It leaves that up to the discretion of the trooper. And there are exceptions to the law. If there's no vehicle behind you, you can remain in that lane. Uh, if congestion doesn't permit you to move over to the right hand lane, you can remain there. Could be inclement weather, um, snow or ice, and it might be safer to travel uh, in the left lane. Uh, there might be an instruction in the right lane. And if you're driving down the interstate right now, you'll notice electronic signs that are there to warn people about this new law going into effect. But SCDOT told me they hope to have all of the permanent signs up on the side of the interstate by August 15th. In Greenville, Sophia Radebaugh, 7 News. Uh, for the first 90 days, police will just hand out warnings. If somebody breaks that law, the fines won't start being issued till November 13th. Public Works and Spartanburg County.